Welcome to Cast and Cajun. We're your hosts, Tony Fontenot. And Tony Sasher. We're here at Lake Gunnersville with Chris Lane, 2012 Bassmaster Classic Champion. We're at his 2015 fish camp. We're going to show you a little footage from bass fishing yesterday, but today it's all about the kids. Yeah, you know, out here it's, uh, it's about putting fishing into the hands of children. We give them rods, reels, tackle, to make sure these kids got everything they need. When they go home, they can go fishing. Putting fishing into the hands of children, man, I tell you what, it's awesome watching the kids grow in the outdoors. So get ready for an exciting half hour with Casting Cajun. Cast and Cajun is brought to you by Thibodeau Regional Medical Center for expert, compassionate care. Grafton Dermatology, specializing in diseases of the skin, hair, nails, and cosmetic surgery. Cajun Home Improvements, the last roof you'll ever buy. Don's Wholesale, your truck superstore with the largest selection of pre-owned trucks in Louisiana. Homeatravel.com, experience world-class fishing in the heart of Louisiana. Visit Homeatravel.com. Bourgeois Meat Market, miracles in meat since 1891. And by Tony Sacheries, makes everything taste great. Little one. Little guy. Little guy. He's a little guy, Bo, but you gotta start off somewhere. You gotta start off small and go big. Come on. I'm gonna look another one behind him. Yeah. Well, you, you drop shots close. Bo, drop it. Drop it down. Drop it, drop it down, Bo. Straight down. Drop it. Let it go down. Pop it, there you go. Nice spot. about that, Bo? Good turn, buddy. So, Tony, you and I met uh, several years ago yeah. at that open in Palatka. I've been going on 10 years. I'm on uh, eight, for sure. Yeah, it's been a little while. I said, I was an open. I caught my first 10 pounder. It was in practice, but first 10 pounder. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, Palatka's got some big fish. Made up that uh, uh, etouffee last night. And, uh, same way you make it up for all the, the lead anglers when we do those uh, the dinners and stuff, and that's always a treat. Uh, just wondering how many times you you've actually made <laughs> hundreds, hundreds, <laughs> and hundreds <laughs> for sure. That is uh, that is some really really good food. Uh, oh, we did that big one at Lake Fork for the skeeter tournament. Yep. Uh, 80 pounds of tails. That was a big pot of etouffee. That is a cauldron <laughs> of etouffee. And man, it, it's always good. Good on top of a steak, grilled fish, fried fish, whatever. Hey Rob, tell us what's new at Power Pole. Well, I'm glad you asked. Actually, uh, next week at ICAST, we're going to be introducing uh, a battery pack. It's a lithium ion battery pack for our Power Pole Micro Anchor, uh, which will allow you the freedom to go out on a, a two or three day trip in the woods where you may not have power, uh, or if you have a boat that doesn't have a battery on board, 
uh, the, this plugs right into the back of the micro unit and gives you hands-free battery. Uh, it's good for a couple hundred cycles up and down, which usually lasts for a few days. Uh, so we are launching that, uh, and we will have other past winners uh, at the show. Uh, but that's uh, the newest thing we have at PowerPole. Oh, nice little chap. Yep, little, little guy. Boy, all right, man, finally broke the skunk. Fish. Yeah. Hey, just a little patience, Tony. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, hear you. Nice job. Nice one, C. Now the camera showed up, now it's time to perform. See those mayflies? They're coming up out of that tree. That's a strategy. Those fish drop down, the mayflies drop down the brim, and bait fish come up and eat the mayflies, and then the bass push up and eat the, eat the brim. Fish, oh, I missed him, Tony. Come on, Chris. Man. Those are not supposed to miss fish. Yeah, well, it happens, I promise. A lot more than you think. They just don't show <laughs> Right, right. That's what they have editing for. Come on, Tony. It's Bassmaster Classic way. Champion 2012, Chris Lane. Come on, man. World Champion. <laughs> World Champion. <laughs> World Champion. Why can't I say? That's right. Power Pole Pro 2012, Classic <laughs> Champion, Chris Lane. Here we go. That's Robert. He had to throw the Power Pole deal in there. Power Pole Pro. Yeah. Fish on. Nice right. fish, bro. Take your time. Let him get the camera on it. Uh, and Bo. Good job, dude. Oh, biggest nice. one of the day. Bring him here. Bring get him, him here. Get him in there. Get him in. Oh, nice man. Nice job, bro. Good. Nice job, bro. Hold that up for the camera, man. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, yeah. Another one of those Yeah, it is. I, I, excuse me. I mean, uh, 2012 <laughs> Bassmaster winner, Chris. Yeah, uh, one of them. Sure, I want Tony to me out again. Spotted bass, you know, beautiful, fun to catch, give you a lot of action, you know, come up sailing out of the water. I, I Man. Tony's probably thinking about how he was sink in Greece. He battered with some... Uh, Tony Sashery's fish fry. Oh, what? I know how they taste. I've tried it. Boy, and it is good. You got a bite right here in the boat. You got, oh, you got one out deep. That might be a good one there. What do you got, Tony? I was out in about 22 foot of water, huh? Oh, look at that. Hey, let me help you with that one. Oh, look at there. Yeah, got a little old flat belly on him. He's out, out there deep. You know, they spawned here late this year, so it might be a female just getting back out deep, trying to reload again. Nice job, Tony. Thank you, Chris. Uh-huh, there you go. Fishing on Lake Gunnersville. Get some fish, boy. Must be in his jeans. Jeans. Chris, I think we put the camera in the wrong boat. Well, you know, hey, all I can tell you is we taught him everything 
that we could. And he's with my dad over there, and my dad is out for blood. I'm out here just fishing, having fun with you. But there's, a, I guarantee you, there's a little side bet on this that nobody knows about yet. You know, I, I hate to snitch, but your dad did keep one from yesterday. Put it in so he'd have a head start on you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you just never know sometimes. If you leave that one alive, well, I'll have a head start on Chris tomorrow. Bet some money. Yeah. But I think we got we got him by numbers. You hey, know? Hey, oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Man. You know, if you don't get that bait right up on the edge of that rock or right there where the drop is, you know, those fish normally won't come up there and eat it. You know, there's an ambush point right there at those rocks that they're after, and that's where they'll come up and eat that bait. You get too far left or too far right, they know it's they can get the serial numbers off that lure. Then they won't want to bite it. Oh, we got one in the back. Nice one. Top water. Oh, one of them spotted bass. Yeah, back hook. Got that feather. I've never caught a spotted bass before. Today, that's all I'm doing. I just have to watch when he shakes. Then, I don't know if it's my imagination, but these seem like they're stronger when they shake, when you grab them than a largemouth. Yeah, they're very aggressive fish. Fun to catch, especially when the largemouth fishing's a little slow. You get them. Explain it to me. Their pattern's a little different than a uh, largemouth. It looks like the mouth's not as big either. But the way you can tell for sure, they have a rough tongue. If you there's pass a spot your fish. on there, yep. And there's a spot on his tongue, and it's really, really rough. Okay, buddy, we'll let you go. So, Chris, tell me about the event that we have tomorrow. Oh, man, I tell you what, it's a great event. It's reeling in future pros. And what it is, it's just an event that, uh, you know, we put fishing into the hands of children and, and kids. And usually ages between four and five years old to about 12 or 13. And they get rods, they get reels, tackle boxes. You know, so many of my sponsors have donated stuff to, to put in their bags. They got everything they need to go fishing with, whether they're in a boat, whether at a creek, whether at a pond, they get to go fishing. And you know, one of the most rewarding things out of it is that, you know, you get a lot of kids that come up on stage and weigh their brim, catfish, bass, turtle, whatever it may be. But it's the first fish that they've ever caught, the first bite they ever got. And that's just awesome to see, just getting, you know, rods and reels in kids' hands and letting them have at it and have a good time. I'm really looking forward to it, man. I, I, anything to do with kids or veterans, I'm all about. You know, I think I'm going to try that uh, drop shot because I've been fishing the Carolina rig, and I caught a couple fish earlier uh, before we had the camera out. But since the sun's come up and all, you've been wearing me out with that drop shot. No, oh, I don't not know about where. You're I, catching I, them big ones. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's because uh, you're a real fisherman, and I just play one on TV, or if it's a know. drop shot. I don't know, you know, that drop shot, and you get a feel for it, but, you know, but, it's, it's a finesse style bait, and to catch these smaller Kentuckys, and to have a lot of fun, but, you know, giant fish, you know, like that big worm, the big one you caught was on that big worm, yeah. and uh, you might not get as many bites, but tournament fishing, yeah, you're going to be throwing something a little bit bigger, but out here having fun, fishing with your buddies, just relaxing. Catching fish, you know, light tackle is pretty awesome. Now, one thing crossed my mind, though. I may not want to switch baits, because if I stick to a different bait than you and you outfish me, then I got an excuse that <laughs> I, uh, I didn't have the, the drop shot. While we're talking about outfishing, let me ask you, uh, who's a better fisherman, you or Bobby? Oh, wow, you know, well, you got to throw Arnie in there as well. But, uh, you know, I think on any given day, either one of us could uh, beat the other one. And, you know, it's just kind of, you look at us and, and watch the kind of in the points. He'll be up there, and then he'll fall back, and I'll be up there, and I'll fall back. So, you know, we really just want everybody to do well and uh, between me and him and just really go at it full speed ahead. But you'd really prefer for you to do well than him, right? Well, you know, I mean, you're out there, it's a competition and you're giving it everything you got. So, yeah, if you leave everything on the water and, you know, he's got 
three kids of his own. I got four of mine, so, you know, I mean, we well, got to feed Are you so. saying that's a handicap by you having an extra kid, or? No, it just means I got to fish harder, because I got more to okay. fish. Fish <laughs> on, look at this, big fish, big fish. Oh, yeah. It doesn't feel like a bass, but... Maybe I ought to talk to you more about uh, Bobby, is it? Man, oh, man, oh, man. one of those big catfish. Man, it's got some weight to it. I know that's for sure. Ugh. Yeah, it feels like a big catfish, I got a feeling. Yeah, oh, catfish. yeah. Are we going to eat him or turn him loose? That's a butter ball, too, boy. Tony would cut that puppy up and... Wait a yeah, I'm sure Tony Sasha can figure out some something to uh, do with him. Something to add to Tony Sasha's crawfish etouffee. That was delicious. He does. I make a good crawfish etouffee, and I know a lot of people who do. But Tony Sasha's etouffee is in a class by itself. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, uh, yeah. As many plates as we ate last <laughs> night, I'd have to say so. Yeah. And uh, some kind of... I don't even remember what type of cake for dessert. So if we got dessert, you said, you want dessert? I said, yeah, but not cake. I'm going back and get some more of that etouffee and Ooh. potato salad. And mama's potato salad. Right. I'm oh. telling you what, Amy can knock it back with oh, that. Oh, yes, boy. yes. And that's Amy Sasher, Tony's better half. Hey, I want to stay and fish, but, you know, some people got to work. We got a big kids camp tomorrow. Going to feed 200 kids and family tomorrow. So uh, Chris and I are on our way out. Man, me and Tony have had a great morning, caught a lot of fish, a lot of, a lot of Kentucky. Tony got his first Kentucky, so I'm going to get back. I've got to get ready for the kids' camp. Man, it's going to be exciting out there. Got 125 of them. Uh, looking forward to that, and you're going to be right back with more Tony and Tony on Casting Cajun. This Casting Cajun cooking segment is brought to you by... Tony Sashries makes everything taste great. Folks, I'm Tony Sashries. We're going to fry some shrimp and we're going to fry fish today. We've got some nice folks cooking a nice seafood jambalaya. We're going to have a good time. This is a special recipe. Um, Pat Huval with Pat's restaurant in Henderson, Louisiana, shared this recipe with my grandfather for one of his cookbooks years ago. So I'll give you a little rundown on, on, on what's in here. Uh, we've been marinating these shrimp for about an hour. These are 26 30s. They're marinating in evaporated milk, vinegar, bacon powder, and uh, at least an hour of soak time. And we're gonna, we seasoned the, uh, we seasoned the marinade with the more spice, the Tony's more spice, because we're using straight flour for this. We're not using our fry batter. We're using just straight all-purpose flour. So we're just gonna do a little test run here on them. Flour them up real nice. Shake off the excess flour. And we'll fry them till they're nice and golden brown. Usually probably won't even take more than a minute. Top. Shrimp are fresh out the grease, folks. We're gonna let somebody try it. I think Tony's gonna try one. We're gonna check our spice. If it's too spicy, we'll add a little more flour to our mix. If it's not spicy enough, we'll add more. Tony's more spice. Delicious. But uh, for me, a little bit more Tony. More spice. My new favorite for seafood. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Sweet, huh? I love my job. Talk about Cajun cuisine while Tony and his crew whip up some fried catfish, jambalai, and his world famous crawfish etouffee. Let's join Chris at the weigh-in. How many people don't have bobbers and hooks and weights on their pole? All right, well, hold on a second, hold on a second. What we're gonna do is, we've got plenty of help right here. We're gonna, we got bobbers, we got hooks, and we got weights. When you're fishing for brim, bass, whatever it is, if you're just fishing off of dock in the pond, one of the great things is to watch a bobber go under. When you're down there fishing, when that bobber starts to go this way, then you pull back. If it just goes down one time and stops, that means the fish doesn't have it. 
So when the bobber's sitting there and it's going like this, he's usually swimming off with it, or if it goes under, that usually means he has it. Jordan Jean with the blue group, you have caught the first fish of the 2015 fish camp. What do you think of that? Point one one. What do you think? She says, yay, all right, great job. Well, T, you've been here for several years, but this is my first experience. Awesome. I really enjoyed it, looks like a great success. Man, it's been awesome, you know, with the amount of fishing poles. A huge thanks to all our sponsors that donated things to these kids. And you know what? It's all about getting kids in the outdoors. And you know what? We're going to do it every year. Absolutely. Well, as always, we got to give a special thanks to our military, both our active troops and our veterans. So until next time, keep, keep on casting. Boudreaux's walking through downtown Houston, and he sees a sign. Suits, $5. Shirts, Two dollars, trousers, two fifty. So he goes inside, tells the man behind the counter, "I'd like a hundred of them suits for five dollars. I'd like a hundred of them shirts for two dollars, and a hundred pair of them trousers for two fifty. The guy behind the counter says, "Excuse me, sir. I think you have the wrong idea. This is a dry cleaners." Sacred ground.